Chapter 6 Sky's Reality It's been almost two days, and it's been the longest two days of my life. I can't get the image out of my mind. I can see it so clearly. Just the other day, me and my brother had just finished cooking dinner. We ate and then cleaned up. Suddenly, there was a loud knocking at the door. My brother walked towards it until I urged him to stop because of a bad feeling that I had. Moments later, the door had been blasted open. I was terrified. I didn't know what to think. I thought maybe we were being robbed. Or maybe we were caught in the aftermath of a car crash. After all, we did live on a busy street, so it's not impossible. Soon after the door had been broken down, a man emerged from all of the smoke. He looked to be hovering above the ground, but not quite floating. He stood as if there was a, a solid surface beneath him. He had a blue dagger in his hand and wore a blood-stained white suit with a fedora. He noted that he collects essence and that my brother had what he had been looking for. I urged him that that was not the case and that my brother doesn't have anything like that. But he didn't listen and he proceeded to charge after my brother. My brother was prepared. He had braced himself for the attack and dodged out of the way in time with me in his arms. But before he was able to recover his balance, he was suddenly stabbed through the heart. I'm not sure if I ever cried so much in my life. I wasn't sure what to do, so I stuck my hand out to try and reach him, with tears falling down my face uncontrollably and a loss for words. A pink bracelet appeared on my wrist. I had no idea what was going on, but it was glowing. The bracelet spun around my wrist in a slow, steady motion. It hypnotized me with with images in my head. It showed me nothing but me and my brother. It had to be hundreds, no thousands, or maybe even billions. An image where me and my brother were born in different families. One where me and my brother were older in a futuristic world. And another where me and my brother were lovers. I looked at my brother who had been pelled by the dagger of the evil man and I closed my eyes. I closed them as hard as I could. I just wanted to forget about it all and turn back time to when he was still here with me. I closed my eyes as hard as I could and I finally opened it, hoping that this was all just a dream and that everything would go away. And it did. I was no longer in the same situation and I had been sitting on a couch, watching television with my brother. I cried when seeing him again, and seeing his face, I rushed over and held him tight. I'm so glad you're okay, I said. Of course I'm okay, my brother said. We've been watching this television show for like five hours. Have you gone mad or something? My brother said while laughing. <laughs> you're so silly at times, sis. Strangely. There was a knocking at the door. A chill came across my spine, and I watched as my brother walked up to the door. Something told me to stop him, and I did. And seconds later, the door had been broken down to pieces. Out of the smoke came a man. A man with a blue dagger and a fedora. I started to hyperventilate, and just as before, Everything played out the exact same way. I had no idea what was happening, and once again, the bracelet appeared on my wrist. It showed me more images. I visited hundreds of them, one by one, and I noticed. Though there were different versions of me and my brother, the outcome always remained the same. He would always end up dying. I've watched the nightmare over 5,000 times. And I was ready to give up. I decided to visit one more reality. Then I noticed something. I noticed that most of the realities 
at exactly 7,801,000,000 people residing within it. And there was one that caught my eye. The image in my head listed 7,802,000,000 people. It doesn't sound like much, but maybe the outcome would be different. Maybe it changes something with there being one extra person in the world. I traveled to that image and saw myself in a hospital. For some reason, I could always see what number a person was. For example, my brother was number 6 billion and 30. I walked around that hospital and scanned everyone's number with my eyes. As I kept walking, I noticed a boy sitting on a bench, talking to his fingers, and it appeared to have been a ring on it. I decided to go talk to him. Talking to a ring. Well, that's new. She said to the boy on the bench. I introduced myself and saw that he was in distress. He looked just like me. So I figured that he must have lost someone really important to him. And so I asked if that was true. And I happened to be right. He mentioned that it was almost two days ago since the incident. And he told me exactly how it happened. He told me that I wouldn't believe him. And to my surprise... His mother died the same day as my brother. I was surprised when I looked up into his eyes and finally saw his number. He was number 7,802. But then, I thought about the fact that he couldn't even save the person that was important to him. So how could he have possibly helped me? Suddenly, I noticed a faint aura coming from the ring upon his index finger. And I instantly knew that he was just like me. I laughed in disbelief of his story being true. So then he said it was a joke, but I know good and well that he was telling the truth. I believed every single word started to tear up. So I asked for his contact info and then quickly left so he wouldn't see me cry. Even if not in this reality, maybe he can help me save my brother. I just know he has powers like mine, but I wonder what they are. Maybe if I help him with my abilities, he could help me with his.